Hey guys, this is going to be a very simple beginner tutorial on how to make a watermark on a photo in GIMP. And the reason why I'm making a very simple beginner tutorial is one, because people ask me how to do this, and two, because I'm on a very old computer and I can't do any zooming in and out effects. So I can't really show you anything complicated, but uh, if you have trouble following this, then just watch in full screen and you should be able to follow it just fine. So I'm just going to start and I've already got my uh, photo open here, but if you haven't and you're wondering how to open it, go to File, Open, it's that easy. And then I'm going to set my foreground color to white and you can click on the color here. And then just move this all the way to the right hand corner and click OK. And then you know your foreground color is white. I'm going to make my watermark of text. So I'm going to click on my text tool. And uh, I'm choosing the font sans bold. But if you want another font, just click on this. And then choose your font from this list here. I'm going to stick with sans bold. And size, I'm going to put it at 75. And now I'm going to click on my image. And just type in watermark. Of course you can type in whatever you want. And now I think that this is a little bit too small, so I'm going to make the size of this bigger, of this te of this text. And you can simply do it by clicking on this arrow key here. So this is much better. And if you want to move this to the middle, your font, you can just move this like this. And sometimes it will look like this when you know that you've uh, typed in watermark and not watermark. So what you can do then is just use these drag handles to make this box bigger. So now I've got the box nicely around the text watermark and I'm going to close the GIMP text editor here. And what you can see in your layer dialog here is that there are two layers now and the top layer says watermark and that's your text layer that you've just created. And we're going to rotate that layer by going to our rotate tool here. Click on it once and then just click on your image and then you can see this Let's see, where is it? This rotate window popping up. And you can rotate it by just clicking on the image and just pulling this down, dragging this down. And then click on rotate in here. And now it's rotated. But it doesn't look like a watermark just yet because it isn't transparent at all. Uh, at all. And you can easily do this by going back to your layer dialog, click on the watermark layer again. Because we're going to make that bit a little bit transparent. And you can do that by going to Opacity in here. And just moving this slider down to about 25%. And you can move it up and down a bit, a little bit, until it looks good. What you think looks good. So your Opacity can be a little bit higher or lower to what works best with your image. And that's basically it. But we need to sort of save it now. And what you do is right click on the layer again. Right click and click on merge down there we go and now we're going to save it and going to go to file save as and make sure you click on save as and not save because when you click on save you will overwrite the original image and you don't want it because then you won't have an image without a watermark anymore so i'm going to click save as and i'm going to call this watermark and now the important bit type in dot jp G. And then click on save. And then it might ask you to flatten the image and if you if it does then just click on export. And now it will ask you the quality of the image. And if you want to show this as a preview then click on show preview in image window. And here you can see that a preview will pop up. And if you want to see what it looks like if you lower the quality. This is when I lower the quality all the way to zero. You see that the quality is really bad. So I'm going to put it back at 85%. And well, just use the quality that looks best for you. What you think. And then you can just click on save. And then you're done. I'm going to click on cancel because I've already saved this. And cancel again. And um well, that was it. That's how you make a simple watermark on a photo. And um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if it was and you want to learn more on how to do things in GIMP, just go to my channel, watch my videos. And if you like them, maybe you'd like to watch, like to subscribe as well. And uh, thank you for watching.